The joint trade union movement continued the campaign to garner support for their planned September 7th day of rest and reflection in San Fernando. They focused on crime as leader Ansel Roger maintained the government was not doing a good job. Ian Wayson has more. Calling the National Crime Prevention Plan as announced by government on Wednesday a sham. The joint trade union movement leader Ansel Roger said the government, while in opposition, gave a commitment to fight crime. All of the commitment that they would have given while they, when they were on the campaign trail, those things came to zero thus far. And as a result of the absence of those types of initiatives, we are suffering. We are sitting ducks in this country waiting to be the next uh, murder victim. And just like at Labor Day and their campaigns in Arima and the Shaguanas which followed, he focused on an oversized polling card that summarized the performance of the government. The JTUM boss called on the population to act now. We are saying to the public, do not wait until it affects one of yourselves uh, to join the campaign to force them to do the job that they had committed to do. They have failed thus far and we are saying that they ought to get up and do their job. Mr. Roger claimed crime is affecting his members as the offshore workers have witnessed firsthand drugs and weapons arriving at these shores by boat. He even claimed these workers were shot at. Ian Wilson, C News.